Hello everyone. So last week I found some unfortunate news about another movie video that I like going to. Just like the Kenwood video that happened in 2022 and SD videos North Day 14 that happened late 2023 and along with Cinema 10 Middletown in 2024, Pierce Point Cinema 10 in Amelia, Ohio just recently closed last week. And when I saw this, I was definitely heartbroken a little bit and sad. Because this was another movie theater that I like going to a good amount of times. And I just couldn't believe it. And I also couldn't believe the fact that this is the third movie video in the greater Cincinnati area to close within the last five months. Besides the North Dade and Middletown videos. And it's very sad to see a movie video that you like going to very much go away in the dust or close its doors. Yeah, this was definitely a blow to the movie video industry. I remember going to this movie video in 2020 with Deadpool 1 and the Jungle Book, the 2016 version. And I saw many other movies after that at this movie video. And in earlier this year, I saw ISS and Cabrini. I did a good amount of movies at this movie video. So I will always cherish the memories. It only had 10 auditoriums, but I really like the atmosphere, the rotation, the seats, and the people there as well. It was a really good movie video. It was it's very, very sad to see this movie video go, go. So while I'm at it, but I will take a look at this website one last time. The GHTC videos, which was, was used to own Pierce Point Cinema 10. There was also three other movie videos in West Virginia. But, which are, I believe, Park Prey Stadium Cinemas, Fountain Prey Cinema 8, and Lewisburg Cinema 8. I hope to go to at least one of these movie videos someday, but even though another movie video that I like going to is gone, the memories will stay with me forever, and I want to thank this movie video for bringing me laughter and joy for the, pa for the past four years. You will be forever missed. Well guys, I'm officially announcing that, um, unfortunately, um, Pierce Point Cinema 10 in Amelia is closed. I went to this video a number of times and I definitely enjoyed it. It is sad to see another movie video gone in my area, or in the Cincinnati area, but I guess, you know, all things have to come to an end, unfortunately. Thank you, Pierce Point Cinema 10, for all the good times that you brought to me. You will be forever missed. Hello, everyone. So, after finding out that Pierce Point Cinema 10 in Amelia, Ohio, recently just closed, I decided to do a recap of all the movie tickets that I have collected over the years from all the movies that I actually went to see, the, to see at Pierce Point Cinema 10. And this is a one down of, um, I believe, all the movies that I went to see at Pierce Point Cinema 10. From July 2020 to March 2024. The first movie that I ever saw at Pierce Point Cinema 10 was in 2020 with Deadpool 1. Shortly after movie videos were starting to open back up with, due to the pandemic, 
they were showing a bunch of classic movies like Deadpool 1, and I got to see this movie again, but this time at Pierce Point Cinema 10. And that was the very first time I went to this movie video. The last movie that I ever saw at Pierce Point Cinema 10 was Cabrini, which was in March 2024. So a little bit roughly around roughly three and a half to four years. And I enjoyed all the times that I went to to Pierce Point Cinema 10. And even though it is gone, I definitely will remember the memories I had going to this movie video. So let's take the little one down of all the movies that I've ever saw at Pure Spring Cinema 10. I believe, anyway. Alright, well, just like I said before, Deadpool 1 was the very first movie I ever saw at Pure Spring Cinema 10. About less than a week later, I went back to see the 2016 movie The Jungle Book. Which was pretty good, seeing it a second time. Let's see, next up is... Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Yes, so... Before movie videos close, Sonic the Hedgehog 1 was several movies that I wanted, wanted to go see that was new in 2020. But I couldn't at that time because movie videos closed. Well, Pure Spring Cinema 10 was able to show Sonic the Hedgehog 1. And I definitely decided to go see it and I enjoyed it. So much that I was, that I was definitely looking forward to the second film. And also with the upcoming third film which will be released in December. Next up is No Escape Trash Follow Me. Which was the very first movie I believe I remember seeing that, with, that had, or oh, actually maybe the second movie that I saw that had Philco Entertainment in it, which was an independent studio, which was an independent movie studio, and I write how this movie had two titles: No Escape and Follow Me. Next up is Love and Monsters. Okay, so this film. I think this was only supposed to be released on on video, but Pure Spring Cinema 10 was, was showing this movie, and I decided to see it because no other video was playing this, and I wanted to go see it, and I definitely enjoyed it. Next up is Wolf Walkers. This is an animated film from Apple and G-Kids. And this was probably the second Apple original films movie I ever saw in a movie video. Okay, I actually take that back. It might be the third one. Because I remember seeing the Banker and On the Wars in 2020. But Wolf Walkers was pretty good. And the thing about that one was that... Wolf Walkers was we were, was released, but it was I think it was more of a Fathom the Fence thing. And this this was just more of a general release. Interesting. Alright, Kindred was the next film. This was an IFC Midnight Films movie. And at that point I only saw a couple of IFC Midnight Films like The Wretched and Relic. So, it was nice to see another film called Kindred at Pure Spring Cinema 10 that was from IFC Midnight. Dream Ran. Oh, this had Margot Robbie in it from Lucky Trap Entertainment. And I thought it was pretty good. Let's see. Stardust. Okay, this is not the 2007 movie. This is the 2020 movie. That I believe was about David Bowie. I believe anyway. But it has been a while. I thought it was pretty good. I'm No Woman. Okay. So this was an Amazon Studios movie. That I saw at Pierce Point Cinema 10. Back when Amazon Studios was just called Amazon Studios. 
This was before Amazon Studios and Metro and Mayo Pictures to forge into Amazon MGM Studios. Next up, All for Christmas. Oh yeah. So now we're at Christmas time in 2020. And they were showing All for Christmas. Which I remember seeing at a summer movie express in Regal before. But I wanted to just see it during Christmas time. It was pretty good. Next up is Hunter x Hunter, and I believe this marks the end of 2020 at Pure Spring Cinema 10. Hunter x Hunter was the next IFC Midnight Films movie that I saw ever, but also at Pure Spring Cinema 10. Pretty neat. So I believe that takes the tale of 2020. Yes, Herself was the first movie I did for 2021 at Pure Spring Cinema 10, and it was another Amazon Studios movie. It was pretty good. Alright, next up is One Night in Miami, which was another Amazon Studios movie, so that was like three in a row I saw at Pure Spring Cinema 10, and I believe, it, I believe Regina King either directed it or produced it, but she was involved with it, and, it was, and I believe it also had actors who played Muhammad Ali and Malcolm X. I believe. It has been a while since I saw it. Werewolves Within was the next movie I saw. Werewolves Within was right from a video game from Ubisoft, as this was also from IFC Films and Ubisoft. It was pretty good. Next up was... Okay, so I do remember seeing one other movie in Pierce Point Cinema 10 before Encounter. So, so, um, what happened was that Pierce Point Cinema 10 had a kid series, GHTC Videos, which was what the video brand was. They had some of kids' movie series, and I did one movie, The Angry Birds Movie 2. So I went and saw that, I think it was late July 2021, but I do remember seeing that movie. I don't think they just, I don't think they gave out tickets for that. But now I know the next one after that was Encounter, which was another Amazon Studios movie. I saw a, a, a few Amazon Studios movie at this movie video, which was pretty nice. This, I believe this was the end of 2021 for Pierce Point Cinema 10. So I didn't go to this movie video a lot in 2021 than I did in 2020. But it was almost the same, I believe. Okay, 2022 was starting with Shadowed, which was a Ryan State Films and Grindstone Entertainment Group film that I believe had Frank Grillo in it as one of the stars. Next up was, let's see, Mr. Malcolm's Wrist, which was the first Breach of Street Media movie that I believe I saw at Pierce Point Cinema 10, and this was on Independence Day. Pretty neat. So, I think there was only one other movie I saw at Pierce Point Cinema 10 in 2022, which was The Band Cheese of Eerie Sheen, which was, a, which was a Searchlight Pictures and TSG Entertainment movie. That starred Colin Farrell and Domhnall Dom Greason in it. Which was pretty good. And then now we're going to 2023 with R, The Little Mermaid. The 2023 version. So, besides the Jungle Book 2016 version, I did see another Walt Disney Pictures film, The Little Mermaid, the 2023 version with Howie ba with Howie Barry. Uh oh, I forget what the, who the act Howie Barry. Yeah, I think it was Howie Barry, B A I L E Y, who played Ariel in the film. Pretty good movie. And I also had Rob Marshall who directed the Pirates of the Caribbean four. So, the other movie I saw in 2023 was The Nun 2, 
a sequel to The Nun 1, and an installment in the Conjuring franchise. Oh, The Nun 2 was pretty good. It's interesting how they put it as The Nun 2 with the number 2 rather than The Nun II in Roman, nu in Roman numerals, like the movie trailer was in the poster. So now we're down to two movies left, and this was both seen in 2024. ISS, which also was seen in 2024, was another Breacher Street Media movie that I saw. And I wouldn't say it's like a horror movie, but it's definitely a movie that's a little thrilling and a little scary at times. Or one that you wonder what may happen. But it takes place in space. And the final movie I saw at Pierce Prince in 10 was Cabrini. The incredible true story of Cabrini, who helped change the world forever by helping children and people be an orphanage. And she definitely changed the world forever. So these were all the movies that I believe. I'm pretty sure these were all the movies I ever saw at Pierce Point Cinema 10. These were a good four years. And even though it is sad that the video is gone, the memories will not and will never be gone for me. As these titties I have, I will definitely keep. To remind me of all the times that I've gone to this movie video. So I just want to say thank you, Pierce Point Cinema 10, for waiting me happiness and memories throughout these last couple of years you will be forever miss and now here is a rundown of all the times that i did win a pure spring cinema 10 but with pictures hi everybody we were at pierce point cinema 10 in amelia ohio i just came out of seeing deadpool it was awesome. And with the few guys, isn't this awesome? Hmm. Yeah. This is a little part of Amelia. Oh look, and there's the movie video. Well, okay. Scrub your hands with soap for 20 seconds and rinse. Sonic the Hedgehog, number one. Boy, you need to see Sonic the Hedgehog, guys. We were at Pierce Point Cinema 10 in Amelia, Ohio, and we were going to go see Sonic the Hedgehog. And look, it's just us. At least for right now, anyway. Took a bit. Hi guys. Guess where I am today? Well, you, the time you probably see this, you probably see the title. Oh, look, Pierce Point Cinema 10 in Amelia, Ohio. Guess what we just saw? Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, I saw. It was awesome. Go see it, guys. It is awesome. I can't wait for the sequel in 2022. Oh, it's coming out in two years. Hello. But anyway, go check it out, guys. It is really, really good.
Yeah, it's right to view. Cool. Hello, everybody. We are at Pierce Point Cinema 10 in Amelia, Ohio. And I'm going to go see the movie No Escape. Escape number eight. Number eight. Hi guys, we are at Pierce Point Cinema 10 in Amelia, Ohio, and we are going to go see No Escape. This is going to be good. Hey everybody! I'm going to go see Love and Monsters at Pierce Point Cinema 10 in Amelia, Ohio today. Oh look, I saw this yes. I mean I saw this Sunday. At the Milford video. But today, we're going to see Love and Monsters. Yep, we are at, we are at Pierce Point Cinema 10, and let's go to the movie. Number 10. I can't wait. This is going to be good. Pierce Point Cinema 10. Hi guys, we are at Pierce Point Cinema 10 today and we are going to go see Wolf Walkers. An upcoming movie on app from our Apple Original Films. This is gonna be good. Wow. Hi. Right. It's movie time. Hey guys, we didn't see wolf walkers. Wolf walkers number one. We are at Pierce Point Cinema 10 in Amelia, Ohio today to see wolf walkers. The upcoming movie from Apple Original Films. Well, I know it's in videos, but it's going to be coming to Apple TV Plus next month. In case you guys don't know, Apple TV Plus is like 
Netflix. It's a subscription service. Uh, last month I went to Marymount to see an Apple original film movie called On the Walks. And in March, I, I saw The Banker, which was another Apple original film movie. I saw The Banker right before everything that shut down. But yeah, so I'm seeing Wolf Walkers today. This is a hope you guys see this too. I hope Please this is going to be good. I know to turn off my phone when I, when it's time for the movie, but it's not time for the movie. Well, this is going to be good. I really like this video. If you guys haven't been to this video, go check this out. I know you can't see it much because it's dark, but still. It is a good video. I can't wait to see this. Alright, see you everybody. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. Peter's Point Cinema 10. Hey guys. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Kindred. That's the movie I'm seeing today, guys. We are at Pierce Point Cinema 10 in Amelia, Ohio. We are going to go see Kindred. This should be good. It is an IFC Midnight film. Cool. Kindred, number 10. Number 10. Hey guys, we're at Pierce Point Cinema 10 in Amelia, Ohio, and we are seeing Kindred. 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 We are seeing Kindred today, guys. Hey, that's Tom Hanks. I just saw Tom Hanks in Toy Story. Well, didn't actually see Tom Hanks, just heard Tom, voice, Tom, Tom Hanks' kick voice uh, as Woody in Toy Story. That's what I meant. I'm going to see Kindred today, which is an IFC, which is an IFC Midnight film. I am super excited for it. I have seen The Wretched and Rowett. I have been impressed so far. So let's see how Kindred does. And look at these rights. Look at these rights. This is going to be awesome. Well, goodbye everybody. Have a good day. Hi everybody, it is Sunday, November 22nd, 2020, I am at Pierce Point Cinema 10 in Amelia, Ohio, we are going to see Dreamland, which is a Margot Robbie movie, I mean, one Margot Robbie movie. So I just showed you guys a picture of Woody Trap Entertainment. Did you know that Woody Trap Entertainment is Margot Robbie's production company? Well, it is. And Margot Robbie is, I think he's like the second producer or producer of the film, Dreamland, which I'm seeing today. So the Woody Trap Entertainment world is going to be at the beginning, at the beginning of the movie. Cool. What the trap entertainment? Mulder Wobby. Yeah. Have you guys seen this movie before? I'm hoping it's good. Um. Reason they didn't take the picture outside 
The movie feels because it's kind of raining outside and I don't want it to get wet. Well, it's more sprinkling, but it was a little rainy, you know what I mean? So I decided to just, so I decided to just take the picture inside today, but I'm glad I did. I am excited for this. Well, oh, the really trap entertainment world that I just showed you was on the poster for Promising Young Woman, which is a movie that Margot Robbie is producer of, which will come out next month. Cool. Well, have a good day, guys. Be safe. Hey everybody, I am in drive through at the Freddy's in Amelia, Ohio. Not sure if you can see it because it's dark, but I'm at Freddy's. Have you guys been to Freddy's before? If you have, comment below. I'm kind of in the drive through line right now. Oh look, and there's Taco Bell. Hey guys, I just got out of seeing Dreamland at Pierce Point Cinema 10 in Amelia, Ohio. It was pretty good, honestly. It was good. Margot Robbie was good in it. Like I said, she she was one of the producers in the film. That's why the Rookie Trap and the Team in Wilder is in the film. Cool. I hope it's also going to be in Promising Young, Young Woman, since Margot Robbie is also a producer of that film as well. Well, just what I did for you guys, a movie review, or a partial movie review. I'll do it later on one way. Alright, peace. Pierce Point Cinema 10. Hey guys, we're in Pierce Point Cinema 10 in Amelia, Ohio, to go see Stardust. Not the... Oh, what's that called? 2007 movie, movie directed by Matthew Fawn, but the 2020 movie that talks about David Bowie. This one, right here. Let's go see Stardust. Oh jeez. Wouldn't it see stored us today, guys? Hey everybody, we are at Pierce Point Cinema 10 in Amelia, Ohio. We're gonna go see Stardust! Not the 2007 movie directed by Matthew Fawn, who is, the who is the director of the upcoming movie The King's Man. But I'm talking about the 2020 movie that talks about David Bowie. That's right, David Bowie! This is gonna be good! Whoa, what is that? Well, have you guys seen this movie before? It just came out. Just came out. Um, Tom Hanks, huh? Speaking of Tom Hanks, Tom Hanks is going to star in the upcoming movie News of the World. Cool. Well, I can't wait now. Wait for this movie that I stole us. Go check it out. Well, I mean, I haven't seen it yet, but I can't wait for it. All right, peace. Stardust. That was a good movie. Hey guys, I just uh, was seeing Stardust. 2020 movie that has David Bowie as far as the singer. Well, an actor playing David Bowie. It was good. Yeah. I enjoyed it. It definitely talks about David Bowie when he was in America. Cool. Well, I gotta do it now. Peace. Hey, everybody. 
It is a cool day. Today. We are at Pierce Point Cinematin in Amelia, Ohio today, and we are going to go see All for Christmas. This need to be did. Awful Christmas. Hey guys. I'm the woman. Yeah. I originally said I was going to do Awful Christmas, but I decided to do I'm the woman instead. Awful Christmas will still be there next week, but since nobody is attending the movie I am for right now. I decided to do I'm your woman. Hi. I'm your woman. Hey guys. <coughs> so I'm gonna go see I'm your woman at PS Point Cinema 10 in Mewe, Ohio today. I originally was gonna do all for Christmas. But, I saw there were some people attending an awful Christmas movie, and I, and I thought maybe more people were coming, since it is a Christmas movie, whereas I'm no Mormon, it's not a Christmas movie. Usually, I, usually I'm not picky like that, but due to this safety concerns and all that, I'm just trying to be a little bit extra careful. You guys, you, you guys know what I mean? Don't worry, I'll try to do all for Christmas and this read. But this is gonna be a good movie. I heard it's good. I'm the woman, this is an Amazon Studios movie. Cool. This is gonna be good. Well, have a good day everybody. Peace. Hey guys, we are Pierce Point Cinema 10 in Amelia, Ohio. Pierce Point Cinema 10, yes, we're open. Hey guys, we are at Pierce Point Cinema 10 in Mewe, Ohio today, and we are going to go see Awful Christmas. This is going to be good. Oh, I still want to see those two. And I've always saw I'm a Woman, but not Monster Hunter yet. Cool. This is gonna be good. Hey guys. Hey guys, we are Pierce Point Cinema 10 in Amelia, Ohio. All for Christmas. We are going to see All for Christmas today. Finally. Welcome back to the excitement. Listen, if you did. Have you guys seen All for Christmas below for four? If you have, comment below. This is going to be good. Let's see. It feels good to be back, even though I was just here a few days ago.
but we are honored for you to join us. This is going to be good. I try to see all, I try to start off with Christmas rest for say, but we touched a few people in there and I wanted to make sure I was a little, and I wanted to be careful. I decided to do I'm Your Woman instead since I was five minutes later. But now, I decided to do all for Christmas today. And, well, it's right, it's going to be good, guys. I, really, I have seen this movie before at the Summer Movie Express in Regal eight years ago. But that was one time, and that was eight years ago. Now I'm seeing it during Christmas time. Well, have a good day, everybody. Peace. Hello. Hey everybody! Today is December 27th, two days after Christmas. First of all, I hope everybody had a safe and Merry Christmas. We're down to four days after the day until the New Year. And today, we are going to go see Hunter Hunter. Yep, it's an IFC Midnight film, and I'm excited to see it. Yes, I know that Wonder Woman 2, News of the War, Promising Young Woman, Monster Hunter are still out. And I do plan on seeing those, but today it will be Hunter Hunter, so this is going to be good. Hi everybody, I am at Piers Point Cinema 10 in Amelia, Ohio. We are going to go see Hunter Hunter. Which is an IFC Midnight film. Cool. Well, did you guys have a great Christmas? I did. Now, so far, I have not seen Wonder Woman 1984. That would be Treadstone. Yep, Treadstone. Isn't this spelled T R E A D? Oh well. Anyway, I know I haven't seen Wonder Woman 1984 or News of the World or Promising Young Woman or Monster Hunter yet, but those are up on my list. And I'm hoping this week I'll be I'll see Ma Rainey's Brad Bottom, which is also Chadwick Boseman's final film. I'll let you guys know if I'm going to do that or not. I'm praying on it, but we'll see. Well, I hope you guys have a great day, Amelia. You guys have a great day, and like I said, New Year's Day is coming up. Cool, 2021. Well, have a good day, everybody. Peace. And if you guys seen Hunter Hunter before, let me know how it is. The power of Petro. <laughs> Piers Point Cinema 10. Hey everybody, we are at Pierce Point Cinema 10 in Amelia, Ohio today. We are going to go see herself. 
the Amazon Studios movie that recently just came out on Amazon Prime Video. And here is the poster. Whoa! A new poster for Nomad Man. Oh, I'm gonna see that. That's a guarantee. But today we're gonna just see herself. I'm Philip Boutte Jr., costume illustrator, and I make movies. Hi, everybody. Ooh, before the movie trivia. How 9,000? Uh... Terminator? Oh jeez, 2001 A Space Odyssey. Well, i never seen it so that's why I did not know about it. Yes, I really did say Terminator. <laughs> that's what I'm seeing today. I am seeing herself today, the recent movie that came on Amazon Prime Video from Amazon Studios. <coughs> I'm excited to see this movie. Now even now even though it had it has not in Amazon Prime Video yet, this week in Amazon Studios just released One Night in Miami, which I'm also gonna be seeing at some point, but today I'm gonna see herself. Well, have a good day, everybody. Peace. Can you believe we're 10 days into the new year? Wow. Time flies fast. Well, have a good day, everybody. Have a... Ooh, Let Him Do was a good movie. Hi, Kevin. It's so good to talk to you again. Hi, everybody. Peace. P.O.'s Point Cinema 10. Hey everybody, today is January 17th, 2021, tomorrow is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I am in Amelia at Pierce Point Cinema 10, and today, we are going to just see the movie. One Night in Miami. Friday I saw Selma, yesterday I saw Harriet, now I'm going to see One Night in Miami, with Gina King film. This is going to be good. From Amazon. So it is on Amazon Prime right now. If you guys seen it, comment below and tell me how it is. So I'm about to see it right now. Okay. Oof, it's a little cold today. <laughs> it's always cold in January. One night in Miami. Hey guys, we are at Pierce Point Cinema 10 in Amelia, Ohio. We are in Auditorium 4, and we are going to see One Night in Miami. The new film directed by Regina King. Regina King, wow, this is going to be good. I heard this is her first film as a director ever. This is going to be good, guys. Let's see. Well. Have you guys seen One Night Miami before? If you have, comment below. It just came out on Amazon Prime, but still, has anyone seen it before? If you have, comment below. This is gonna be good. I love the movies. Faint there. This is gonna be good. Have a good day, everybody. Hey guys, today I'm going to see a movie called Werewolves Within, which is based on the video game adaptation of the same name by Ubisoft. Yep. Werewolves for Thin. Here we 
go. Werewolves Within. That was a good movie, guys. So this is based on the video game annotation in the same name from Ubisoft, who also did Assassin's Creed. So the werewolf in the film is not who you think it is. And it's definitely a good movie. You guys should just see it or even play the game. Yeah. See you guys next time. Hey guys, I'm at Pierce Point Cinema 10 in Amelia, Ohio. And I'm going to go see the Angry Boots movie too. So the Amy Bruce movie one I saw in East State last year. Although I originally saw it in 2016 when it came out. But I never saw the Amy Bruce movie two when it came out. Even though I wanted to. There were other movies I saw. But anyway, now I'm finally to, to, to see the Amy Bruce movie two. Cool. Hey guys, it's December 6th, 2021, I'm at the Pierce Point Cinema 10 video in Amelia, Ohio today, going to see the new Amazon Studios movie, Encanto. Yeah, the new Amazon Studios movie, Encanto, is in this video, and I'm going to go see it. It's on Amazon Prime Video this Friday. Encanto, the new Amazon Studios movie from Liz Ahmed, Ahmed and Octavia Spencer. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this film. Well, I just got out of seeing Encanto, the new Amazon Studios movie. It was pretty good. It comes out of Amazon Prime Video this Friday, but the next Amazon Studios movie to hit videos is Being the Recorders, coming to limited, coming to in the limited release and videos this Friday. Directed by Aaron Sorkin. Oh, this is going to be good. Hey, guys. Today I'm at the Pierce Point Cinema 10 movie video in Amelia, Ohio. Oh yeah. Today I'm going to go see the new movie Shattered. So this will be the second 2022 film that I'm seeing in 2022. This is gonna be good. Shattered. Well, that was pretty good. So I won't say how it ends, but it's a pretty good movie. It has stars like Frank Grillo and John Malkovich. But yeah, it's pretty good. This could be the next movie I see, but I might see the next Matrix movie next. But we will see. You guys take care. I'll see you guys next time.
Happy 4th of July, everyone. I'm going to see this movie today, Mr. Malcolm's Swiss. A new Bleecker Street Media movie. This is going to be good. Well, I just thought I was seeing Mr. Malcolm's Swiss. And it was a good movie. So yes, I believe it's based on a note, uh, based on the book of the same name. And yeah, it's a pretty good movie from Breaker Street Media, Ingenious Media, and Fist Alien slash Green Iron Films. Well, I hope you guys have a safe and happy 4th of July. See you guys next time. Hi everyone, so I'm at Pierce Point Cinema 10 in Amelia, Ohio today, and I'm going to see The Banshees of Irish Ruin. The Banshees of Irish Ruin. The stars Colin Farrell and Brendan, Gr and Brendan Griezmann. This is going to be a good movie. Well guys, I just got out of seeing The Banshees of Irish Ruin, and it's about these two guys who used to be friends, but not anymore, and one of the guys is wondering why. I thought it was a pretty good movie. Definitely recommend it. Well, see you guys next time. The Banshees of Insurian. This was a good movie. Search right pictures presents The Banshees of Irishirian. This stars Colin Farrell and Brendan Greeson in it as two lifelong friends who find themselves at an impasse when one abruptly ends their relationship with alarming consequences for both of them. Ooh, so this takes place in the 1920s in Ireland. Set on a remote island off the west coast of Ireland, the Banshees of Eoshirian for his lifelong friends, Patrick, Patrick, who is played by Colin Farrell, and Colm, who is played by Brendan Gleeson, who find themselves at an impasse when Colm unexpectedly puts an end to their friendship. A son, Patrick, aided by his sister, Shirobin, who is played by Terry Condon in the film, and troubled young Irono Dominic, who is played by Barry Kirigin in the movie, I think he was also in the tunnels. Anyway, endeavors to repair the relationship, refusing to take no for an answer. But Patrick's repeated efforts only straighten his former friend's resolve, and when Colm delivers a desperate ultimatum, offense swiftly es escalates with shocking consequences. Everything was fine yesterday, but today, that's not the case. Pretty good movie, definitely recommend it, and you won't believe what happens. Pretty good movie.